Hello everyone, and welcome to the RISC-V Summit. Today I will be demonstrating an Ubuntu desktop running on the Hi5 Unmatched. This system is running the Ubuntu 21.10 release, nicknamed Impish Indri. The first piece of software I'd like to demonstrate is a computer automated design software called OpenSCAD. It's very widely used and I use it for all of my 3D printing projects. I prepared a model to show that is just a simple nameplate you can put on your desk that contains the message Hello World. We can use OpenSCAD to change these strings Hello and World to Ubuntu 21.10 and Hi5 Unmatched. After changing these parameters, I will click the render button and we will see how long it will take to render on the High 5 Unmatched. That was pretty quick. The total rendering time was under 3 seconds. You'll also see that if I zoom out and rotate the model, that the software is very responsive and the frame rate keeps up very nicely. Now that we have our 3D model, we will still need to use a slicer to create the 3D printable file. I use a Prusa 3D printer, and conveniently, Prusa Slicer works quite well on RISC-V. After opening Prusa Slicer, I can import the 3D model we just created, and once again it renders very quickly. It doesn't quite fit on the bed, but that's nothing we can't fix with a little rotation and repositioning. Prusa Slicer is also very responsive with 3D rendering as I rotate the model all around. The actual slicing of this model takes a little while, so I have fast forwarded through that part. I have actually 3D printed this model though, and it's here at the canonical booth in the RISC-V Summit. Another piece of crucial software for a desktop environment is a web browser. I have found Epiphany Browser works the best on RISC-V with a GNOME desktop environment. It compiles natively on RISC-V and is available in the Ubuntu Universe repository. Here you can see the Epiphany browser load the page where Canonical announced support for this Hi5 unmatched board. The browser is very responsive, loads images quickly, and scrolls smoothly. If you want to play videos in a RISC-V environment, I recommend VLC. I have used the command line tool YouTube DL to download a video explaining what Ubuntu Core is, and I will now open it with VLC. As you can see, VLC is very responsive while loading the video and seeking through it. The last software package I am going to demonstrate today is an office suite named Caligra. It contains a word processor named Caligra Words. I can open the software and select the blank document template and start editing. I can change the font and font size just like any other office suite you may be used to. Caligra also includes a spreadsheet software, Caligra Sheets. Rather than open a template this time, I have created a little sample spreadsheet. It is saved as a CSV file, which is understood by just about any spreadsheet software. It loads very quickly. And here we can see that Focal, Hirsute, and Impish Ubuntu releases all support the Hi5 Unmatched. Caligra Sheets supports many of the formatting tools that can be found in other spreadsheet software. Here I will demonstrate formatting the cells by setting a border around the entire table. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.